Now we're going to set up the Unity Cloud Build online. First of all, go to this address. I'm going to paste it here, build.cloud.unity3d.com. And then press enter once you're there. Okay, this will bring you to the online Unity Build platform, the Cloud Build. Now this might take a while. What you want to do is click on Login. If you don't have an account, you will need to sign up. It's free. Just click on Activate for free. All right. Login. That's using your um, your Unity IDs. And then once you're there, you can also create a new project. You might have to accept the terms of services if it's a new account. All right. So as you can see, my other Unity project, I can click on Setup and that will create a new project. Now you can also click on the top right, create a new project. So let's do that. All right, give it a name. Let's, let's call it um, Shooter Game or we'll just name it my, my First Game or whatever you'd like, you know. And then select a company name. If you don't have any, you can put your name. That's not a problem and click on Create. All right, now here you're going to need the server URL. And as you can see, it says the source control. So we have to put the source control from the Git repository that we created. How do you get that? Well, go back to your Bitbucket account or your GitHub. And then when you click on, uh, on your, your project, you will see the address here. Okay, so that's how I know the address. I can right click and copy. And then go back to the uh, Unity uh, Developer Cloud and paste the URL here. Here we go. Now, it automatically understood that it's a Git type. Now, there's other types, but Git is fine. And next, click on just the next access button. All right. Now, you have an SSH key. Let me show you what you need to do with that. You need to copy this to your Bitbucket account so that you can synchronize that. All right. So I'm about to copy the unique SSH key. I'm going to just select everything and Command C to copy. And then go back to the Bitbucket account click on the top right corner, that's your profile, and click on Bitbucket settings. Now, this is how to add SSH keys. If you're using a GitHub, you can always, um, you know, just say how to add SSH keys, GitHub, and that will show it to you on GitHub and not Bitbucket. It's very simple. It's very similar to what I'm doing right now. All right. And once you're here under Bitbucket settings, click in the menu under security, SSH keys, and click on add key. So we're adding the SSH key and label it. I'm going to call this one Unity Shooter or Unity Game. And then I'm going to paste it here. All right. And now click on add key. And that's it. Now we have synchronized the bit bucket to, um, to the Unity project. Going back here. Now I can click on next, the target setup. All right. And now, depending on which environment you want to, to build, you have to select which one you want to go to. We're not going to do that right now, but um, you, know, you just have to basically follow the steps. It's pretty straightforward. Let's set up the cloud project inside of Unity. Click on Window and then go to Services. This brings up the services on the right side. I'm going to move it to the main window, drag and drop it there, and click on Sign In. If you're not signed in already, use your account. and then click on sign in. Now you can select your account and instead of clicking on create, you can see that below that it says, I already have a Unity project ID. Yes, we do, we just created one. So click here and now we can select a project and I'm going to select the multiplayer shooter test or select the one that you created inside of the Unity Cloud build. All right, and now click on link. Are you sure you want to link? Yes. All right, so this may take a while. And at this point, we are linking. Now, as you can see, we have access to Unity multiplayer services here. And that's right out of the box. And it's already on by default. Now, inside of the services for your game, you can click on the multiplayer. There's a link right there. And that will bring you to the uh, configuration. Now, as you can see, these are the supported platforms. And you can go to the dashboard to set this up. So go ahead and click on the link here. All right. So basically, it just sends you to your online account. And, um, you know, just accept the terms of services if you haven't yet. Make sure you read through them. 
then put the max number of players. And um, since this game only can go up to, uh, to, to uh, there's only four different types of, of, uh, of colors, I'm going to put four players at most. But obviously, we can put as many players as we'd like and click on save. All right? And then you can look at some variables here. So, and here it gives you the CCU usage. So whenever your game is live, you can see how many uh, network packets are going back and forth. All right, so this is the CCU limit. Um, so that, you know, you don't want to spend, if you don't want to spend too much money, right now it's free, but if you're alive and, and uh, there's lots of uh, users, you can limit the number of, uh, of data going on. And then uh, this gives you information, number of used, um, used by your project, so the number of CC you used, and uh, used by this project, and the max player that we just set. Now you can go to activate live mode, right now it's off, but if you put the live mode, you can definitely play live. So again, you can put the genre here. I'm going to put this one to be an FPS. It's not really a first person shooter, but it is a shooter. So that will do target platform, desktop and, mo and mobile and uh, game studio. That would be your, your address, your website address. If you don't have one, you can always create in, um, a Tumblr page or a Facebook page. That's free contact point email that would put your email and then uh, the number of expected users, that's concurrent users. So I'm just going to put um, 10 just for the sake of learning. But if you're putting this online, you can definitely change that. And as you can see, as you do that, this estimates how much you will pay per month. OK, so, you know, on average, obviously, you know, um, hosting this online on Unity is a lot easier to set up than setting it up yourself on your own server. So it's definitely worth it. So this is the bandwidth use per month. Obviously, mine's not going to be that much because it's just a test. But if you go online, um, that's when uh, you will have to, um, to, to you know, have a, a plan here. All right. And then you can put I've read and agree. And I agree to being charged and click on submit.